Uh, hello everyone. This is a uh, this is uh, my first uh, my first rap album review, and uh, I was on a uh, I was on I was commenting on a DJ Vlad video. I was like, uh, you know, he he had he had disparaged uh, Nas's album Stillmatic, and I was like, you know what? I mean, my comment was that Stillmatic was my favorite Nas album. You know, DJ Vlad was going on and on about how Illmatic was the greatest, Illmatic was this and all this other stuff. And, you know, and uh, so I said Stillmatic was the greatest and, and Everybody in the comment section kept telling me, no, Illmatic, Illmatic. Stillmatic is like a distant third or something like that. But it's like, you know, I wanted to, I was like, I'm going to explain why Stillmatic is the, the greatest Nas album. Now, I have, I have listened to, I have listened to Godson. I have listened to Illmatic. I have listened to, you know, uh, I Am. And, uh, you know, first of all, the thing with Illmatic is that it had a lot of cheap, you know, uh, cheap, a lot of cheap samples and a lot of, I mean, it had a lot of cheap, sam cheap samples and cheap beats, you know, he was just doing, he was just doing, you know, the, the album with what he had available and you know but Stellmatic is the Stellmatic is the candy paint album it sounds like candy paint you know what I mean and uh, uh, and in the first the first, in the intros to still to Stellmatic uh, Nas is like you thought I was gonna make another uh, Illmatic but no, I'm not looking back. I'm looking forward, you know. He, he said, you thought I was going to make another Illmatic. This is not Illmatic, you know. And, it, you know, it's such a forward-thinking, it was such a forward-thinking uh, album, Stillmatic. There were so many innovations, you know, particularly, well, this wasn't the best part of the album, but the, the first, I believe the first, uh, the first, Single on the album was the Ether, which he did. He Ether Jay Z, and I and that was the that was the most well put together Ether I'd ever seen. I ever heard in my life, you know. Uh, and um, he even knew stuff like KRS had a an album called Blueprint. I didn't know that. He knew that. You know, Rockefeller Records shared the same name with a rapper who died of AIDS. You know, I I mean, I never would have figured that out, but he he knew all this stuff, and he 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 gave he gave uh, he gave uh, he gave you know he gave a really well thought out and well researched argument as to why Jay Z. <laughs> uh, wasn't quite the man that he was presenting himself as. And, you know, like I said, Still Mac was a candy paint album. The beats and the, the samples were all premium. You know, I, I'm a, I studied sound design in college, so, you know, we know how, we know how much work it takes to prevent uh, getting muddied audio uh, distorted audio, you know, how you want to have your samples at a certain bit rate and all this other stuff. And, you know, uh, the samples in, in Stillmatic were absolutely premium. And, uh, you listen to, you listen to the, the song where he's, where the hook is like, you're the man, you're the man. And it's like, that's the type of song that you would listen to if you were walking down uh, if you're walking down the lakefront on the south side, uh, 
you know, from 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 maybe like forty from maybe like forty forty uh, seventh Street to McCormick Place in the middle of autumn. That's the type of song that you would listen to, like you know, when it gets dark and the and the and the and the, and the, and the late front lights come on. You know, I know because I used to walk that way all the time. But emotionally, the way it feels, the way it makes you feel is, you know, when you're walking down that, that lakefront on the south side, you know, and it's so peaceful, you know, this, the way the south side was, it, it, it always takes me back to the south side. You know, when I listen to a, a song that really catches me, it always takes me back to my, to when I used to live there because that's, you know, uh, that's a whole nother story. But then in the in the in the uh, in another uh, song, he raps the entire song in reverse. He starts off at the end, you know. He talks about uh, you know first first he at the end of the song he talks about first I first I I vomit and then the the vomit turns into a, a glass of juice. You know what I mean? The vomit comes back in and then it turns into a glass of juice, you know, so uh, he's doing the whole thing backwards. And that was an innovation I had never seen in rap, even though it, it probably has happened before. I just didn't I just didn't hear it. But the way he did it, he was able to rhyme in reverse, tell the whole story in reverse, make it rhyme and make it make it a uh, 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 bang, you know. And the, and the most amazing thing. Uh, well, the second most amazing thing about the album was that was when he ethers his own crew, and that's like, man, I mean, he's calling out his own homeboys in his in his album, and I was like, man, I mean, you know, you know, he he took it a step. I, he he was a step ahead of Tupac uh, in that sense, you know, now y'all, you guys aren't going to like this, but uh, uh, All Eyes On Me was the greatest rap album ever made, you know, two, two, you know, so, I mean, Still Manic is in the top five, probably, probably the second greatest rap album ever made, uh, but, you know, in this sense, when he's Ether and his own crew, Nas really took it a step above uh, Tupac because, you know, uh, talking about the, uh, beefing with people makes them better. Beefing with people makes them better because they have to step up and they have to improve. So that was, that was the second most uh, amazing thing about the album. Uh, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the last uh, four points in the next video. This should just be the first part. So let me know what you think and uh, have a nice day. Bye.